We'll get in the calm winds tonight. Still some low level moisture uh, from the rain we just had and the temperature cooling to the dew point. A little shallow fog may develop in places, but it does look like tomorrow is still going to be a really nice day. But the next cold front is speeding up. It's accelerating. New data is in line with that tonight. And it's looking more and more like we'll see a few scattered showers and storms more like Friday afternoon evening rather than late Friday night, Saturday morning. Any shower on Saturday, if there's anything lingering, would be early in the day. Then it's going to get nice and the weekend does look pretty good. In our viewing area, again, we are fine tonight, but the cold front is well up to the north and where it's really hot in Montana and the Dakotas, going to be a lot of severe weather. But as the cold pocket associated with the system moves into Minnesota, Michigan, maybe northern Iowa and Wisconsin, there will be some large hailers up in this area tomorrow and into Friday. Now, as for us, it just doesn't look juicy enough, nor look like the cold air is going to be as intense here. Uh, so there may be a, a small hailer or two. Otherwise, it's just going to be a little band of garden variety scattered showers and storms that will continue to watch. And again, the timing for that would tend to be Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Tonight, though, crisp and cool with a 49 Winnemac, 42 Lafayette, Romney, 42 Pine Village, uh, 52 Pine Village, and 52 at Thorntown. Tomorrow, 80 Lafayette. 79 Monticello, everybody's going to be mostly sunny. Winds are going to shift to the east. And then Friday, highs about 80 to as high as 85. Skies will turn partly cloudy to mostly cloudy by afternoon. And then we'll have that little band of scattered showers and thunderstorms coming in from the northwest. So let's track with Futurecast. This is tomorrow morning. A little shallow fog in places here. There's the cold front to the northwest. Now tomorrow afternoon, this is about 1.30. And this is towards 4 o'clock in the afternoon. There's going to be severe weather up in this area. There'll be some large hail and some areas of strong to severe wind gusts. Now, this is 1230 tomorrow night. Notice there are showers and thunderstorms up here. Our clouds will start to increase tomorrow night. And by 6 a.m. Friday morning, some scattered showers and thunderstorms northern Illinois, parts of Iowa and Missouri. And then by afternoon and evening, there's three. Notice how some of these start to come into the area. And there's once we get right into the heart of the evening, a little band of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then they get out of here. That's about 1130 midnight. And this is 2 o'clock Saturday morning. Again, early Saturday morning, there may be a lingering shower. Otherwise, the front gets out of here and the afternoon looks good. Underneath that cold pocket and the stronger jet winds, the large hail threat will mainly be northwest of here. We may find a pea or marble sized hailer, but that will just about do it the way it looks right now. The Saturday 77, Sunday 77, but then it starts to warm up. As a matter of fact, after some cool mornings early next week, it's back to 86 Wednesday, and by late next week, we could actually see 90 or 91 once again. That is, oh, but this weather right now is just oh, great. It makes it you think is. of fall, and it is. nothing more fall like than a little football, right? Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. The last two nights have felt like football season, which means it will be here before we all.